a time not so distant, in a place not too far, Hua Tokki, a story is told of two people, a beautiful maiden, whose beauty was unmatched, yet it masked her inner turmoil. In her quiet times, she was always deep in thoughts, for her loved ones, those she had lost. Yet, even with all of this inner turmoil, her beauty was unmatched. A young, strong, willing warrior had fallen in love with her, yet she hardly even noticed him. This was not the only reason. He, too, had inner turmoil. People were still healing from a time of war and loss. Despite this turmoil, the warrior remembered the wisdom of his grandfather. The maiden worked hard caring for her family, and she would always receive attention from young suitors. Flutus played songs from afar for her. The singers were relentless for her. Craftsmen created for her. The hunters would bring offerings for her. Despite all of these gifts and offerings, something was missing. At times it became so overwhelming, she thought of just running to be free. But she could not. She loved her people and family too much. The warrior began to remember. The medicine grandfather taught him, the red willow weaves. And so he began weaving the hoops in the way of the ancestors and practiced as his grandfather taught him. When he was ready, he danced for the people, awakening again the healing dance of the ancestors. As he danced, the maiden took notice. He danced with a grace of the legends. This ancient healing dance of the people. She remembered stories of this healing dance. Her heart warmed knowing his reasons for dancing to heal the people. When the warrior finished his dance, he found himself kneeling before the woman he had fallen in love with. It was at this time the hoops began weaving their stories together, hearts healed and woven together as the hoops, to become as one who honor the story of this healing dance.